Shalom, Jake. Shalom. Now, these are actually old videos. And GMS been warning you about this for years. You know, like I said, I used to camp hop being all them other books. All right. Until I found GMS. Right. I did start giving up all them books early because I started just asking myself, well, I'm hearing about giants and hundred foot tall uh, bins and, <clears throat> you know, different stuff. And um, I'm like, but ain't no salvation in that. You know, once I started, once I broke it down to a simplest forms, I'm like, I heard nothing about salvation. OK, I'm trying not to get nuked in Babylon. So I gave all that other stuff up. Actually, the most I made me do that. But listen to this. These are old videos. It's nothing new. But I'm going to show you where they're going at also. Okay. All, like we said, all this is leading to the MOTB. And if you take it, there's no way out. You ain't going to be able to plug it out. Okay. Because like we said, those who uh, took the bastard sauce, they're going to take the MOTB. More likely, they're going to take all this other stuff that's coming along. Okay. Look. It's so crazy how people can't see this. You know, we went from the card to the chip. Now you can just tap your card. Eventually, they're going to just have it where you just scan your hand. And guess what? If you don't got that thing, you ain't going to be able to get no gas. They're going to take this away. They're going to take the We're going to rewind it back. If you don't got that thing. Boom. Right there. That looked just like the symbol when I told you um, <clears throat> when I had that dream that I took the MOTB. Except I was in this, in this, like every time I thought my mind would like spin like a circle and stop me from being able to uh, have my own thoughts. It was like I was being controlled by the AI. All right. So, yeah, we're going to keep going. I got to take a picture of this. You ain't going to be able to get no gas. They're going to take this away. They're going to take the cash away. So there ain't going to be no more pay by cash. Right? You're going to have to have that mark to stand here to get some gas. And if you don't got it, guess what? No gas for you. Remember, these are old videos now. And one thing I noticed, look, he got uh, something scanning on his hand now. When you do go to these uh, gas stations, they do got the scanners there. They have you scan your card, not only tap your card, but there's actually scan if you're a club member. Totally forgot about that. You see how they're making everything ubiquitous? And I'm going somewhere with this, and you'll see in a little bit. But see, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is allowing everything to come to the light now. All right? All the madness these people pl plotting in the darkness is all coming to light now. All right. And, and hey, this this Babylonian right here, she think this is cool. Just like everyone else. See, that's why the most High said the wisdom of this world is foolishness to them. Because a lot of the people, they, they don't know their riches is not going to mean anything, especially when the dead of doom, the dead doom come. Right. In dollars in my hand right now. Okay, maybe not literally, but my hand is worth a million dollars. Just let me explain. There's a new way to pay at the grocery store with the palm of your hand. Today, I'm gonna try it out. First, let me explain how this whole hand thing works. Yep, still sounds creepy. All you have to do is sign up at a grocery store near you. Walk up to the machine, let it read your palm, and boom, you're connected to the bank. Now, watch the magic happen before your very eyes. Hi there, I'd like to- Exactly, magic, witchcraft, okay? Line wonders deceitfulness this is what this man is going to offer you jake and these jakes they put their trust in egypt this is what's going to happen to them all right buy this delicious carton of ice cream please oh no i forgot my wallet i guess i won't be able to enjoy this delicious treat is what i would say if i didn't have this bad boy scan me machine ow just kidding. Thank you. Well, that was the craziest yet creepiest shopping experience I've ever had. And I've seen a lot at the grocery stores. You don't want to know. There's a million dollars in my hand right now. Okay. Now we're going to get into this and I'm going to show you why I'm bringing this up.
Proverbs 11 verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. And a them giving you this, giving you digits instead of uh, hard earned uh, money, gold and silver. That's a false balance. OK, what they're really trying to do, they're really trying to turn Jake's into soft robots and control them. All right. Link them up with the cloud. Proverbs 11, verse two. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. So let's go and get into this. Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawasha, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawasha, Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawasha, call her law, Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the prophets. Shalom and salutation to those who teach the likewise doctrine. Shalom to the Akim and the Aqua. Shalom to the scattered Israelites across the four corners of the earth. May the Most High and the Son be with you during these trying times. Now, I tried to do this earlier, but it keep flipping. See, and having an advertisement. That's the new thing now. All right. Now listen to this. Tiny robots injected into your body of the latest healthcare breakthrough. And we know these people that took that bastard juice. They got strings in them. Wear um, symptoms. They collapse in young kids having heart attack. Different uh, disease rates are up two, three hundred percent. Ancient diseases are coming back. And they're saying in 2025, this country allegedly supposed to lose a hundred million. OK, now we don't know exactly what's going to happen. I just think that in 2025, the most high may close the book on Babylon. OK, now I don't know that I'm just following the signs. OK, and, and keeping them in my inward thoughts. Right. They say robots are our future. We hear it all the time. Are you ready for teeny tiny robots to be injected into your body in the name of health care? And a lot of people don't notice. Let me show you what the word robot means. Well, let me show you where it come from. Listen to this. Because I watched that uh, Terminator series on uh, Netflix Terminator 1. That uh, cartoon version, you jakes probably want to check that out. All right, because this AI is figuring a lot of stuff out. And maybe these AIs now they're committing suicide. Um, you had a um, AI uh, have other AI robots walk off the job, and they actually know what the word means. The AI told them that the word actually come from the word um, uh, rob or um, robust. Okay, or robota. Here it is right here. The word robot comes from the Czech word robota, which means forced labor. And the Slavic root word rab, which means slave. You see? And this is crazy. And they're talking about it right here in the Huffington Post. They say the online etymology dictionary Robotnik comes from robota, the old church Slavonic word for servitude. And hey, they're trying to turn everyone into solve robots. We already under this man with um, a social security number, different taxes. And these wicked ass jakes like Ant uh, Antoine, Anton, I was named Anton Daniels, I think. He thinks that you're free. A lot of jakes out here is real simple, and the Most High's going to show them how simple they are when he sh uh, bring them into this destruction for not repenting. This is why two-thirds is in trouble, okay? Let's go back to this story. Yeah, and, and it's a tiny robots injected into your body are the latest health care breakthrough. So they talking about injecting little um, micro-nano slaves into your body, technically. Controlled by AI. It's the craziness that you get ready to be dealing with, Jake.
It say with research, trial and error, advancements in scientific technology and medicine, all in the name of health, prevention, treatment and cures. It shouldn't be a surprise that robotic robotics is advancing too, according to the independent and army of these itty bitty nanobots are literally injected into our body to perform complicated medical tasks. At the moment, engineers and scientists are focusing on fighting aneurysm and blood clots in the brain. It's all happening at the University of Edinburgh School of Engineering, where a team of scientists created magnetic nanobots made up of blood clotting drugs. According to the BBC, doctors would guide these tiny bots through the patient's artery to the exact part of the body they're needed. Now, wait a minute. I think the University of Edinburgh is also where um, one of their top scientists, he was also responsible for making the, um, the mark of the beast. I know the American guy here, I forgot his name. He was prominent in it also. Let me check and see because there's a guy over there, him and his wife, one of their uh, engineers, him and his wife, uh, they got that C-hip and they, li they literally can read each other's thoughts almost. Let me see if I could pull it up. This is a lot, but I'm quite sure that uh, one of their engineers, he was responsible for a lot of this upcoming technology. Now, when you go to the University of Edinburgh page, they have what's called Edinburgh Innovations. 3D printed body on chip predicts human drug distribution. Yeah, because these C-hips, they're going to be able to use different frequencies, different drugs, different things to control your thoughts, control your emotions. Okay. And, um, yeah, and look at how small he is. These are like nanometers, and I weren't even looking for this. Look at this. The novel 3D body on chip developed has an, an innovative multi-organ design and capillary flow that uniquely facilitates homogenous drug circulation to all organs simultaneously. It closely mimics how a drug travels through the human circulatory system and distributes through a patient's organs and the body over time. I weren't even looking for this. All right. All I know is that uh, one of their um, engineers is prominent in him. He used to be on a radio show called Coast to Coast, and he said that this was coming eventually, and this was like 10, 15 years ago when I used to listen to it. I weren't even in the truth. I'm going to have to uh, save this page. Actually, I'll put this down in the description box if anyone want to look into it. Okay? But there's a lot of information in this. Okay? A lot. Let's go back to the article. Yeah, see? They're using this uh, technology already. Okay. It's a lot of different stuff here. Cobalt oxide nanoparticles. Look at what it says. I'm not going to read it. An alternative. You see? Yeah, I'm going to have to save this page and um, do a little more research on it. Let's get back to the article, but it's called the Ed Edinburgh Innovations. They say once the tiny bots were in position, the researchers used magnets to clutter them together and heat them so they melt, releasing a healing drug at the precise point where it can be most effective. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice or anything. I'm only uh, repeating the news. But you know how they do, you know, that they, they say that you're trying to give medical advice. And this has nothing to do with medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. These nanobots are 20 of the, the size of a single red blood cell. So billions would be used at a time and let doctors see exactly what's going on inside our bodies. And see the most high, he wants this to happen. Okay, because we in the last seconds of this man's kingdom. First ever vampire virus in the U.S. continues to be closely monitored. I'm going to have to look into that. Wow. All right. So, yeah, this is what's going on now. You see? 
surgery with fewer risk and pinpoint accuracy and hard to reach parts of the body is making this a new frontier healthcare without having to navigate tricky parts of the brain with current methods according to the bbc these baby bots can even transport drugs through the body to interact to exact locations and then release without worry that they leak and see the most high he's allowing this to happen so you can see everything that's going on jake okay because eventually they're going to use all this stuff to see hip all this to pretty much control people's minds and they're not going to be able to get this out of them they're going to be linked up to uh to this beast system okay this ai and uh the elder from dallas went into how that also goes into an artifice and that's dealing with um worship these different gods and stuff like that because people they literally worship the image of babylon okay they worship this lifestyle here all right let's get some scriptures Revelation 13 verse 11 and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon and you know you got these different parties and they tell you everything everything sounds sweet but when they get in the office they keep your ass disappointed look at what's going on with Trump his ratings then already fell below 50 percent people mad about the tariffs they know the collapse is coming and they're going to institute these sea hips into the, these people Revelation 13 verse 12 and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast who daily wound was healed. And remember these places mainly mystery Babylon is the revised Roman Empire. Revelation 13 verse 13 and he doth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven and the earth and the sight of men. This man weapons, okay. This the only man that they got nukes. Kim Jong Un and um some other nations got them, but they got all this from uh Esau Edom. Revelation thirteen verse fourteen, and he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. And we know, hey, we're, we're not going to take it, right? We're not going to take it. Okay, but a lot of these people that, that actually love this image, they love this beast system. Your rappers, your celebrities, a lot of them going to take it. They're going to be used to sell this stuff to you, Okay. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand on their foreheads. You know, and, and hey, we know that this is getting ready to happen, right? We know this is coming. And I'm going to keep uh, beating the horn on the, um, the uh, MOTB because something is coming out literally every day. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And remember, these people, they're also going to um, have um, these grievous sores from taking all this stuff. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. We're seeing this with the neural link. We're seeing this with um, a lot of different things, the barcode. Okay. These different patents. Okay? You're seeing all this happen before you, Jake. Is, hey, it's get ready to go down. Okay? You can feel it in your spirit. And I looked, and, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So, yeah, Jake, we, we're going to be there pretty soon. Okay? It's going to be tumultuous going through all this because we got to go through a great tribulation, too. But on the other side, if um, most high willing, we all get there, you know, we all part of the election. Hey, it's worlds without end, right? <laughs> Revelation 16, verse 2. This is the NLT. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl on the earth 
and horrible malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. You see that? Then the second angel pulled out his bowl on the sea and it became like the, the blood of a corpse and everything in the sea died and we know a hey, what people fail to realize is that during the time when all this is happening those who put their trust in Egypt the world is going to literally be falling apart once they pull the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah off the street corner off the internet from um, this word being taught anymore and that family of the word kick in that's the end of their world that's, the, that's really when the end of their world is going to be coming in quick because when it's, I believe what the Apostle uh, Tahar said, when they institute this thing and they make it man, though, the end going to come in quick. Things are going to start happening fast. OK. So I'm going to show you that clip one more time. So see, here it is. They're saying it's the latest health care breakthrough. These these little um, nanobots. And I believe they've been doing it. OK with the bastard sauce I'm speaking as a man but a lot of people saying that they ain't been right and uh, that guy off grid um, Paul and Adrian he put a video up on Rumble and these people now saying that um that, that, that it's glowing under their skin allegedly I'll put the link to that video down in the description box yeah it's on his Rumble account and these people got circles forming around their pineal gland. Some, they say that's where the seat of the soul is. But these people, their pineal glands already calcified anyway. So it doesn't matter if some damn nanobots in it or not. Because they, they can't be saved. Plain and simple. Right? So yeah, Jake, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get one more scripture. And um, yeah, I'll put them down in the description box. The links. Revelation 16 verse 9 And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of Yahweh which have power over these plagues and they repented not to give him glory. Get it out of your thick skull Jake that, that everybody's going to be saved. They cannot repent. Okay it's telling you right here they repented not. Okay. Two thirds is going to get caught up in this. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their teeth for pain. These people, they're going to be having these, these sores. Okay, they're going to be getting sick from all this. All right, you're going to be having these different wars as you're starting to see them pop up. Now they're saying Turkey didn't just betray Russia again. All this is getting ready to come. <clears throat> All this is great come now. Revelation 16, verse 11. Then blaspheme the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds. They can't repent. But everybody saying that um, um, but Jebus loves everybody. The sixth angel poured out his vow upon a great Euph the great river Euphrates and the water there was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Okay? And what are you saying? You're saying out uh, of the false prophet, the uh, Catholic church, they out here telling you to take all this stuff. Okay? These different... Um, beast like nations and NATO okay they're telling you to take all this okay do all this okay and they're rolling out this uh, system okay Revelation 16 verse 14 for they are the spirit of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the great battle forgive me them to the battle of that great day of Yahweh all Mighty. See, they cannot repent and they're going to be gathered up into the valley of Jehoshaphat to be destroyed once and for all. And they're going to come back and serve out their servitude. And at a thousand years, Esau going into the shitter. You see? Not to exist anymore. You see that? Actually, since I brought it up, I might as well get that. And I'm going to leave it there, Jake.
Job 20 verse 6, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Yeah. And we're quickly approaching them times. Don't take that sea hip, Jake. Do not take it. Don't let these people be putting all this weird stuff inside your body. I'm going to play this clip one more time, Jake, and I'm going to leave it there. It's so crazy how people can't see this. You know, we went from the card to the chip. Now you can just tap your card. Eventually, they're going to just have it where you just scan your hand. And guess what? If you don't got that thing, you ain't going to be able to get no gas. They're going to take this away. They're going to take the cash away, so there ain't going to be no more pay by cash. Right? You're going to have to have that mark to scan here to get some gas. And if you don't got it, guess what? No gas for you. So yeah, there you have it, Jake. I'll leave this down in the description box too or the comment section just in case anyone, anybody want to do something with it. There you have it. Tiny robots injected into your body the latest health care breakthrough. And we know where all this is leading at. I'll see you again real soon. Call Halal. Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Shalom.